kids and cadets welcome back to tommy time took this in on trade a lady had messaged me was looking for a uh, self-propelled she said her husband had messed with the mower but he's in the hospital she's been cutting the grass and can't get this thing to run <clears throat> so she sent her son out with this i says let me look at it because um she said it would run and then stall. I thought it might have been fuel, and I, I told her, let me try to see if I can salvage this one. You don't have to buy one. But when the sun come out, we started talking about it. It had more issues than I wanted to deal with. It, it wasn't going to be a quick solution, so I gave him a hell of a deal. I gave him $60 trade-in value. He took a Troy-built similar front wheel drive <clears throat> no bag he brought me the bag and the side chute but i sent the side chute home with him so he would be able to have a uh, side discharge so the story on this troy built he said um it would run and then stall run for about 15 minutes you let it cool off, it would start and run again, and then quit. So he said his dad had replaced the traction control cable, but he said he cut the starter cable. And I says, what, what's that? He said he pointed up here and said he had wired it up here. I says, well, how did you stop it? He said, well, if I had to stop it, if it wouldn't, if it didn't quit out after the 15 minutes, I would just snuff it off here at the uh, intake tube. He put a new filter on it. I think he said he changed the, the spark plug. So my thought was, oh, and he didn't know anything about non-ethanol. So is there a little bit of water in the bowl and it's finally picking it up after 15 minutes? Or do you think it's a coil? Because that would be something a coil would do is heat up, quit, you let it cool down, and then it runs till it gets hot and then craps out. So this thing's been through hell and back. We got one slick. This one's not bad, but look at all the gouging up here where it's been run into different things. Big cut there in the plastic. Maybe going under bushes. Look at all that scuffing. And I forget what did the blade look like. Let me let me bring it around. Not bad. A little overfilled. Kind of used. Let me grab a turkey baster just for the fun of it. See if there's any traces of water in the tank so 60 bucks this thing isn't gonna be a super home run it's not like the 20 dollar turo smart stow i got at nine o'clock the other night <coughs> I'll try to aim the turkey baster down here to the very bottom of the tank. Yeah, there is there is fuel in it. Okay, that was a good draw. Water. Right away. No 
okay. I didn't expect to see a lot in the tank. If it's running for 15 minutes, I thought there might be traces in the bowl and it's picking it up. But right away, yeah, it's starting to settle out. You can see it now. With the, the debris, the water's holding the debris down there. There's a definite line. Cleaner on top is okay, and then you got your water level, your water layer. So he's gonna take mine home, and I hope he don't use his tank to fill my mower. I told him to get rid of the gas Hopefully he listens to me or he's going to be back. He's going to contaminate my mower. <clears throat> so like I said, <clears throat> this thing he said would run for 15 minutes and then quit out. When he unloaded it, we started it. And I went and grabbed my can of nitro. I had the cover off and the filter off. I was waiting for it to start to stall out. I was going to juice it with carb cleaner nitro and see if it picked itself back up to overpower the water that may be being pulled into the jet. <clears throat> I waited maybe two minutes, nothing happened, so I just turned it off. Hello, oh, hi. hi. I, okay, well, I got somebody that just showed up, so you guys have a good day. What can I do for you?